CapCut speed ramping tutorial, how to use speed ramping. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use speed ramping in CapCut. It is done in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So please stay tuned till the end of this video. It's gonna be a very quick and easy tutorial and I'm gonna explain it to the fullest on how to use your basic uh, CapCut Pro. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So firstly, what we're gonna do is obviously we're gonna have a video over here. Now to obviously use speed ramping in this, what we're gonna want to do is we're going to right click on it we're going to create a compound clip out of it and once we do that we're going to click on edit and once we go and edit well obviously what you're going to want to do is you're going to go up here in speed and once you go in speed you can either mess around with a curve like make these different curves like this so you know it's going to go up then it's going to go down so basically you know give it a nice little you could say a nice wobble effect so basically it goes up, then it immediately goes down. So the video will be a bit, you know, it goes immediately like that, then slows down and then it goes back up again, just like this. So yeah, that is basically how you can use speed ramping. And that is how like simple it is. So there we go. There goes the video and then it goes again. So that's how you use speed ramping. And obviously accordingly, you have to like mess around with it uh, to see how it works best. But yeah, that's how you do speed ramping. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.